Hey everyone, it's Living Dead Gal, and welcome back to another episode of Horse Ranch Rags to Reno. I'm super excited to be back. I literally just posted the last episode, so I haven't heard any of your feedback. I'm sure you guys are going to be a little frustrated with me and the money situation. I know there's things I could have done a lot better, but I'm going to make things better. We're going to improve things for Winona today. She's stinky because she needs a bath and we have no running water, and our little goat is stinky, little butterscotch. She is stinky as well, so the two of them match, but I'm just having her take care of the animals and then we need like 300 more simoleons to pay our bills so I'm gonna have her and bandit run out do a job so that we at least get out of debt our nectar is so close to being ready to age and then we're gonna go sell it to that mysterious rancher I do want to try the yard sale again I really do because I really think we can do a good job with it I have a lot planned today and I have some story elements as well because I finally I'm so excited little miss Sam created a mod well she already had a mod that was allowing you to have a live-in service but now the mod includes a ranch hand. So we're going to get to experience that. I did also just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for 5k subscribers. I'm like blown away and I'm so excited. I really, really appreciate all of you and all of your support. Thank you for everyone new and old. If you've been here from the beginning or if you're brand new, I just really appreciate you watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. It means the world to me and it makes me really, really excited to keep creating content and to chat with you guys in the comments. Something is going on with my garden. All of my my plants are dead now. They're all, well, not dead, but they're all like back to where they were, which is frustrating. Now I know it's because the season just changed. So we moved out of summer and into fall. So the plantain tree and the cherry tree are out of season, but my black bean bush isn't. I think it's the gardening bug, but I'm really bummed out because all the work we did in our garden is just gone now that I've like loaded back into the game. I know it's real grungy, but I want to do this real quick just to try to make some money. Let's go ahead and haul the hay cargo. So we're not hauling manure this time. We're hauling hay. Okay. Okay, well, that's nice. Something a little bit different considering horse poo was a very predominant theme in the last episode. And as miserable as Winona is, I'm having so much fun playing this, guys. I know that like there are certain things I could do to make life a little bit easier and I'm going to do them, but I, I did kind of enjoy a little bit of that struggle and it kind of adds to the story and some of Winona's character as well. So that's why I'm kind of making things a little bit tougher on myself. Today, I am determined we are renovating a room, if not two rooms, then at least one room. I am determined. I will sit here all day until that is done. We earned $241 from that. I know you're a stinky mess. We just got to be able to pay our bills. Okay, hon? We are going to focus on that money train and don't worry. I know that she snubbed Cass a little bit in the last episode. We are going to get into some more of that. I'm really excited about what I have planned for that. The Sims, they, they gave me more ideas. It ended up working out perfectly. It didn't, that wasn't how I planned for them to meet or have their first interaction, but I kind of like it. It was kind of perfect. Every time I edit my videos, I get really antsy to just be back in the save and play. I'm really having fun with this game and with this series. Ugh, there's just like a spider crawling in that web. It makes me so uncomfortable. I hate it so much. Okay, we got to clear those out today, like ASAP. Oh, he reached temperament level four. Oh, he's doing so good. Sims will now be able to ask about controlling temper with Bandit, which will help them recover from being angry more quickly. Also, Bandit is less likely to buck when being ridden. Oh, thank goodness for that. Wait, hold on. Her and Cass, their friendship actually isn't as bad as I thought it was. Okay, they're just acquaintances. They're not friends or anything. It's not as bad as I thought, but he does have the hurt sentiment. I think she just kind of like snubbed him like he was trying to help and she was just like real pissy with him. But you know, there's a lot more going on with her than what he even realizes, even just looking, you know, at the at the state of her ranch. Let's travel. I just want to go to a different part because I feel like I've exhausted so much of the prairie grass in this area. I think I want to go back over this area because there was some good stuff near the oak barrel. Oh, there's Juniper. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh my goodness. See? You guys, this is why we can't go for Umber because look, they're about to have another baby. We're just going to chat with her and be like, oh, congratulations. That's so exciting. And Juniper's like, you stink, hun. Do you need a bath or something? Do you need help? She's just asking her about her pregnancy. She says, nice of you to ask. I'm in my third trimester. I'm okay with having a child. Pregnancy has its good days and bad days, but overall it's a beautiful experience. That's so freaking cute. Even though she totally ditched us on our night out last episode, I do kind of feel like Juniper could be someone that we really get along with well. Oh, why are we angry now? We're enraged from an anger bomb. Okay, we'll walk away. We're having a pleasant conversation, but I feel like we should walk away before you get like too mad. We finally got like a sliver of green with someone other than Cass. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and sell the horse manure right now and we will try to do yard sale later. And that gave us enough to pay our bills. Perfect. I'm gonna do that. I know I should have just done that last episode. Sucks. We finally have two grand and we are 
pretty much gonna have to spend all of it on bills. That is life. That's literally every time I get paid. I'm like, oh yeah, I got paid today. And it all goes to bills. We're gonna do some frog breeding too. Now that I wanna try to sell the frogs on the selling table because I feel like I can probably make a lot with that. She got the grass cuts again. Yes, okay, our bills are paid. Amazing. Oh, more progress. That feels really, really good to pay our bills, guys. I'm so happy. Okay, well done, Winona. Oh, okay. She's like having a full on meltdown. I know, I, I know. I do like quite enjoy this though, the way that they just like have a little temper tantrum and stomp up and down, it cracks me up. I know some people don't like the like goofier Sims animations and like things that are too over expressive, but I kind of, I kind of like the over expression in game. It just adds a quirk to it, which I know might seem strange since I use Alpha CC and I like to make really realistic Sims, but I, I don't know. There's just something endearing about the sort of over exaggerated expressions of the Sims. I definitely need to explore more of the world because I feel like I've kind of gone to the same like go to places. I'm like hoping that being outside will calm her down though. How can you be in a bad mood when it's so beautiful over here, hun? Look at how pretty everything is. She's like, yeah, well, you try not having had a shower in days and barely being able to pay your bills and stressing out this much about life. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I guess I am putting you through more than what I'm going through, just sitting here on my computer. We got a grape. Yes, they're in season. Okay, I'm actually really, really happy it's fall. Winona has acquired her first bottle of energy nectar. Information about energy nectar has been added to her notebook. 71 simoleons. Originally an attempt at homemade power ship, this nectar's recipe's simple ingredients produce an electrifying energy flavor. This drink is all class and no sleep. It's like lemonade for fancy people who can't sit still. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. I'm keeping that one for myself. Oh gosh. Judith Ward is still here. She's like just got her eye out on Winona. I feel like she's just in town visiting to keep tabs on her. But Judith, like we're in totally different industries. You're a famous actress. I'm a famous model. Can you just like chill? Oh, we got another bottle of nectar. Strawberry nectar. Okay. If this isn't a hint that we're going to get cars at some point, it has to be coming, right? It has to be. I think I have scared and gotten everything that I can get over on this part of town. Well done today, Winona. Well done. I'm I'm proud of you, hun. Winona, you deserve a nice bath. I know that it's disgusting, this tub. Go ahead and take a bubble bath, okay? You deserve it. And you need something to kind of relax you. Butterscotch is thinking of leaving soon due to an adequate care. Ensure there's enough care, cleaning, and attention. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Where, where is she? Where is she? Winona, get up. I like just cared for you, Butterscotch. I'm so sorry. We got to put our animals first. Their needs come before ours, okay? We really need a ranch hand. Oh, she's butt hurt now. That mood like cracks me up every time that she just gets butt hurt from the high maintenance trade. I will be so happy to get rid of this trade, guys. Oh, there's so much to do. We really, we really are gonna need a ranch hand. We need to be more comfortable with our income and then we can do that. No more messing around here. I want us to actually see some progress now. My favorite thing ever will never cease to be my favorite thing. Oh, is the hug working? Oh, it's working this time. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, no more mail, please. If it's like more bills again, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> bills, are you serious? I literally just paid my bills. No, what? I'm so freaking mad right now. That really just irritates me. I need to get my s &B bills app back in here because that, that works so much more smooth. How do I owe $1,800 in bills and have 24 hours? I literally just paid all of the bills. This is like real life, isn't it? Let's do another community job. Oh, I know you're miserable, hun. I know. And this is going to make you more miserable. I'm so sorry, but we need money like desperately. Finally aged. Do we finally have a finely aged one? <gasps> the apple nectar is finally aged. You know what? Let me breed some frogs. And then I'm wondering if we could stock the table with frogs. I just want to make sure that I keep one of each. Oh my gosh, finally, finally, she's confident. She's finally confident. Get your butt over here right now and come tend to this table. I don't care that it's like a ridiculously late night. No, now she's very uncomfortable again from nausea. Ah, she was just confident. The way I'm so tempted to use UI cheats right now, guys. I'm so freaking tempted. It's because of the grody lot trait. So every time she's in here, she gets nauseous. I wonder if it'll actually let me tend the table or if it'll cancel it out because she's too uncomfortable. Can't ever tend the table because she's uncomfortable. Can I make her throw up? Like, will that help? <laughs> I need her to get over this very uncomfortable. I need her to tend the table. Yeah, go throw up. Okay, hopefully that will help if she throws up. I'm just afraid that as soon as she walks back in there, it's gonna like reset. I really made this difficult on myself with these lot traits, didn't I? Okay, hun, go just vom. All right, just get it out. Okay, yes, that made you feel better. That made you feel better. I'm just so scared that like by the time she gets back to the table, she's gonna be uncomfortable again. Oh, you have goat to be kidding from telling a joke to a mini goat. Maybe mini goats don't like knock knock jokes. Oh no. Mark up our prices, 300. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna start with 300. If I have to lower it, I will. And let's start a yard sale. She's too tense to tend the table now. Oh my gosh, because she hates being around people. And now they're all getting bad impressions of her. Oh no, and now bats are attacking Jeffrey Landgrab. All right, get out of this situation because they're making you tense. This is the struggle with her being like a loner. Okay, now she's happy. Oh gosh, they keep buying the cheap one. No one will buy the expensive one, but the poo did sell. That actually went really well. Nighttime might be the right time for this stuff. Yes, 400 simoleons, yes! Oh my God, we almost have enough to pay our bills. I am so, so happy. This is going really well. Now get back here, hun. Oh, uh, this table has paid off so well. I knew it would. I absolutely knew that it would. Well done, my queen. Well done on the yard sale. We almost have enough to pay our bills round two. And our power has been shut off once again. Uh, great start to the morning. You have been chosen, they will come soon. We're gonna hang up on you. Hey wait, don't you want to? No, I know you're just messing with me. I'm not in the mood, sir. I want to get her relationship better with a uh, little butterscotch here so she can help us with the garden. I'm hoping that if she just does a little bit of horseback riding, that can get her fun up a bit. Mini goat gruff from talking to a mini goat. That grumpy mini goat had nothing to say. I mean, I think that you're the one who's grumpy, hun. I think that the animals can pick up on that. Animals are like that. Oh, I mean, she's not very expressive. What are we tense again? Wait, this is helping with her fun greatly. I just want to get her fun into a good place. Can I have them go do another community job real quick? We'll do another cargo haul after we are done practicing once her fun is up. I'm still waiting on the rest of the nectar to age. If the rest of it isn't aged, then I'll just take the ones that I have to that guy tomorrow. But I think that will really, really help us. We're doing better with money though already. We've already made significant money. The selling table in the frogs is really good. And actually, let me breed some more of the frogs. Oh my God. Are we okay, little butterscotch? Okay, they're gonna do that job, get a little bit more money so we can pay bills again. Okay, that was another 241 simoleons. Amazing. Poor thing. I have her like living off of animal crackers right now because I'm just trying to like hold on to as much money as we can. I'm gonna put her to bed and then we're gonna try again tomorrow. Tomorrow we should have enough to pay our bills. Oh my god. Okay, I was just trying to let her sleep through the night and then as his bandit is very hungry, if not fed soon, he'll be taken away. Oh my god. This is so difficult. Oh, and she's woken up enraged. This is so stressful. The situation that I've created here for myself. This is one of the toughest rags to riches I've done, which is crazy because I I feel like I've done them with less. Like she has a lot of what she needs here, but it has just been so stressful and difficult. Butterscotch is also starving, I think. Oh, and now she's having another emotional meltdown. I can't take it anymore, Winona. I can't take it anymore. Okay, come on. I need you to take care of your animals. Okay, are we still starving? Are we better? Are we better now? Okay. Oh, she reached horseback riding level five. My nota will no longer become tense from being too high up on the horse when riding. That never happened to her. She can also intensely train with horse jumps and barrels which will increase a horse's skill more quickly, but also fatigue a horse more quickly as well. Intensely train, I feel like that's a lot. Let's just practice some basic jumps right now and hopefully this will help with her like very angry mood. Come on, hon, I really want, I want to see you shine. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. And Bandit has acquired the jumping skill. Oh my gosh, camera, can you stop yeeting me right when the cute stuff happens? Oh, she's so angry. So I feel like when she's in a mood like this, the quickest and easiest way for us to make money is gonna be to do that community board job and we're gonna haul more cargo. I This won't be like the normal thing we do. I think this is just what we're doing right now with the skill level she's at. I think eventually we can do like horse competitions and stuff to make money. Yes, okay, we have grapes now. We can make some nectar. Now our water has been shut off. Oh, great. Okay, we can finally pay our bills, which then will take us back down to absolutely freaking nothing. Hey, Bills, 1840. Are you serious? I'm like $8 shy. Okay, let's sell some poo real quick. I mean, she kind of is having the worst day ever. It was like we were finally doing okay, and then those bills came back. Unemployed from lack of employment. Okay, I want to see if I can do something real quick. I am wondering if I can like register with the Ministry of Labor so that she'll stop getting tense from not having a job. I really didn't pick the best traits for this, did I? Enter a job description. Um, I'm like too like anxious to like make money now. I don't even know. Um, I don't know. This is a horribly written description. I would normally take a lot more time in detail, but I'm like, no, I need to make money. I'm just really hoping that that will make her less tense. 
Like, will that show that she has a job? Yeah, rancher. Okay, I could just re-register. I can like edit it later to be better than that. Things are tough. I'm like, we're gonna do good this episode. We're gonna do good. And I'm really, really struggling here. We're we're down to two simoleons. The bills really screwed us up. We were doing so good with making money and just having to pay that next round of bills was like insane. But I'm just having her go for a relaxed ride right now to try to calm herself down. She's finally confident and now she's gonna have an energy failure, which is just, just brilliant. Let me take a deep breath. This is hard. This is really hard, but it's Thursday. I have put it on long lifespan because the days are just going by really, really quickly. Poor thing. She just keeps barfing every day because this place is just stressful. And then every two seconds, she gets a new high maintenance, like 10 smooth lit. Please let people come by these frogs. <gasps> yes, 400 simoleons. That was amazing. No, now she's yelling at them all. Stop it. Stop it. Where's the goat? Where's the goat? Come come hang out with the goat. Yes. Okay, $60 for the horse poo. Oh my God, she just keeps getting tense. Every time people come over, she gets tense from her loaner trait and then I can't do the yard sale. I just have to have her walk away. Come hang out with little goat here. Unbalanced meals from eating too many quick meals and desserts. Oh no. She's like, I just want a good meal. I'm sorry. We just can't afford it. Is everything that could go wrong just going to keep continuing to go wrong? <laughs> The game's like, oh, you're excited to play? Let, we'll, we'll teach you a lesson if you're excited to play. The yard sale is working though, guys. It is working. It's just very, very tedious because the way her moods change and she really struggles being around all these people. I feel like she's regressed a little bit. I think probably because the one, the only person that she was really friends with she kind of ended up pushing away. Not even that they were really friends, but Cass was the only person who was remotely nice to her. And then she kind of just pushed him away. And so I think she's just feeling really kind of down in the dumps because she's been here for so long. Like she's been here all summer and she really hasn't been able to make the progress she'd hoped. Yes, another $400 to the frog. I need to figure out how I made that frog before. Gained the single and loving it lifestyle. <laughs> The game hates me right now. It hates me. Thank God. Okay, we did, we made like $1,600 from that. That was really good. I just need to keep those frogs because I need to figure out which one I bred. Let's go ahead and craft some grape nectar since we have that. Hopefully her tension will go away. It's the hangnail and the loner thing. Tomorrow we're gonna sell this nectar. If the rest of them aren't aged, then I'm just gonna go. I've I've waited so long and it's just taking so much time. I know you're tense with your hangnail. I want her to like like nectar making because I think that would be cute. This is nice. We actually finally have stuff from our garden to make the nectar with. God, those bills really mess me up. I'm gonna cry if we get more bills soon. Her nectar skill, it does build really slowly, I'm noticing. Yay, making the little nectar bottle. Okay, let's see what quality was that one. Oh, look at look at how full it's getting. That one is still poor quality. It's okay though. We'll get there. Another new day and another angry Winona. I am gonna have her take care of the animals and then we are gonna go sell some of this nectar to this man. Okay, I need you to come over here and collect all of the finely aged nectar bottles. Oh wait, I do have one grape that's finely aged and I have an apple. Okay, so let's go collect those. We are going to sell them. We're gonna go find this mysterious rancher to sell them and I'm hoping that'll bring us the big bucks that we need for this like final push here. I'm like, I don't have time for romance and socialization. I'm in survival mode right now because a renovation has to happen. It has to happen for my girly here because she is desperate for a change. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, if you're looking to sell nectar, your homemade nectar, I'd be happy to purchase it for above face value due to the current high demand. Bless this man and all his glory. I am so excited. Roberto Crinklebottom, right? I think he's Agnes's ex is what people were speculating. Okay, apparently we haven't met him. We definitely had a friendly introduction with him before. Uh, like this is all I've been waiting for is to finally make some freaking money and not have it all go towards bills. I might also be able to try to sell it on the selling table too and mark it up. But oh, Casador is right here actually. Actually, well, this is awkward. This is awkward. Uh, look at her. She's like, oh yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh no, he doesn't like us. Probably because we're in such a bad mood. She thinks that he is clingy and he thinks that she is pretentious. I don't know why it like, she definitely met him before. So I don't know why maybe like, 
the NPC spawning, maybe something weird happened because she definitely met him before. Cell Nectar. Okay, thank God. I hate the new pie menu. You can tell I'm getting frustrated. Okay, Cell Nectar. Oh, yes. Okay, so he's going to pay 709 for that and he's going to pay 2888 for the grape. He's definitely giving me a lot for the apple nectar, but I kind of want to try selling this at the selling table now because I actually feel like I might be able to turn more of a profit there. But look at that total profit, 3000 <gasps> We have money, we have money, we have money now. Oh my goodness. So this is not how I intended this to happen. Originally I was gonna have Winona kind of reflect on her actions and maybe text Cassador, but I have a I have a slight different plan now. So he's right here. He's seeing her talking to this mysterious ranger to sell nectar, and he's probably it's probably piqued his curiosity, and he's probably gonna be like, he's gonna see her here struggling because she really needs to go to the bathroom and he knows that she's very far from where her house is in town and she's here without a horse. So I think he is going to invite her back to his home and let her use the bathroom. We are going to, we're using our imagination guys, but we're going to pretend that Cassador is inviting her back to his house. He's like, just, just come home with me and you can use the bathroom. And she has no idea where he lives. But remember, this is actually where she used to live with her mom. This is where she grew up. And this is the house where his father is the landlord and he was like the really, really difficult landlord who would never let Odina buy the property. So this should be interesting. I think she's gonna be like a little bit confused about why he's living here. I think maybe at first she'll just assume that he is a resident here. So first let me let her run in and uh, use the bathroom. So thank you, Castor. <laughs> We're gonna take an angry poop in his toilet. I mean, might as well. He's seen us at our worst. Might as well just keep getting worse, right? <laughs> and I know it's kind of weird because I had them travel here, but it was just too good. Like he was right there and she had to pee. I was like, this is too perfect. I have to use this. Okay, now she's happy because it's nicely decorated, probably because she's in here and she's like thinking about growing up here with her mom. Poseidon's kiss from High Maintenance Trait, you know, don't act like you know, you know that thing. Did she get splashed with toilet water? <laughs> So she's like, oh, thank God I was able to use the bathroom. And so I think initially she was thinking like when he was like, oh, come back to my place and you can use the bathroom. She was probably thinking I should really apologize to him. You know, I was really mean to him the other day, kind of for no reason. So she got the attractiveness alert. So now she got it. Wow, what a sim. Why Nona and Nogi just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Castor Mescal. That man has so many of the qualities that make Winona's heart race as if it were on a cross country marathon. Their handsome features meet Winona's desires to so readily that it's almost as if whatever Ever created such a sim sculpted him specifically for Winona. Yes, yes, I did. And now the only thing left is to pick up their jaw and work up the courage to speak to such an Adonis. Hopefully, Cassador will be kind enough to reciprocate Winona's feelings. So she's feeling a flirty from a breathtaking encounter from seeing an attractive sim. Her eyes were caressed by a truly magnificent sight as a particularly appealing sim just entered her view. This fine specimen of a sim now has Winona's undivided attention as they try to pick their jaw up from the floor. There are heart pounding moments but this one here is heart stopping. I think in this moment now, she'd been so stressed before. She met him and she like viewed him as attractive and they, you know, had a nice conversation. But every time she's encountered him, she's just been in such a bad state. But now like she finally, she was in a really bad mood, but she actually finally made somewhat of a profit, even enough to give us cushion if those bills do come in soon. So she's finally feeling a little bit better. And I think she has a little bit more of a clear head. And for the first time, she's really seeing him. And that is why the attraction has kind of set in. I think she is just going to kind of tell him like, you know, this is kind of funny. This is actually the home that I grew up in. And he's probably like, oh, really? Yeah, it's a really nice house. I'm only here temporarily, though. And she's like, oh, are you renting the home? And he's like, well, not exactly. See, my father owns this property and I'm just like helping him fix it up because he wants to get it ready to sell to a new potential buyer. As soon as Winona hears that, that is going to set off some alarm bells with her and she is going to get really, really pissed. And she's not going to think logically about separating Cassador from his father because of everything she's been through. She's so overtired. Like, yes, yeah, she had a moment of clarity and she's like, oh, like he's, he's actually a nice guy. Like I should be nice. But the second she hears that she has so much anger towards 
Castor's father because like her mother didn't really get to have all the fulfillment she wanted because he wouldn't sell her the home, which there's a reason. And we're going to get into that next episode. We're going to just talk a little bit more about Wydona's mother and father and their backstory. I am going to be getting into that. I just wanted to kind of get us to a better place with the rags to reno stuff. It set her off and he's probably like, what? What is your problem? And she's like, do you not even understand? Like your father would never sell this home to my mom. And he's probably like, what? I have nothing to do with that. My dad just ordered me here to clean it up. And there's a lot more to Castor's story and his relationship with his father. And he's trying to kind of explain, but she's just too angry right now. She's too tense. She's been through too much and she's too tired. She's not going to want to hear what he has to say. And they're just kind of instantly now very, very angry at one another. And whatever connection was there has just been killed. They just keep having mishap after mishap. So unfortunately, she's not really hearing him out. And I think she's just like, you know what? Screw you. I knew that your help was too good to be true. You obviously aren't trustworthy if you're anything like your father. She's just kind of seeing red like at the instant mention of his father's name. And so she is just like going to curse him out and probably head home. He's very angry from the offensive conversation. Um, so, I mean, they actually I'm actually surprised that it didn't take away all of their green. But at this point, like they even walked out separate doors. She's like, I'm leaving. I don't I don't want to see you again. You know, like you and your father just keep this house that meant so much to me and my mother, whatever. I think she's super bummed out right now because the one person that she actually found like somewhat of a connection with, not even from a romantic level, but just like on a friend level is, you know, the son of someone that she hates and that she never wanted to encounter in this town. And we will get more into her, his father. Um, his name is Badaway Mescal, and we'll talk a little bit more about him in the next episode, as well as his, um, why he kind of has a grudge against Winona's mom. <laughs> Guys, we're three for three. This is the third episode now that the game has spawned a little infant. I needed to stop doing that. It, it's so upsetting to me. She did win an argument. Well, she feels like she won the argument because she didn't listen to anything that Kaz had to say, but she is feeling socially awkward from having a really tough conversation. There are a few quick things that I want to do with her, but we finally do have some money, guys, to actually do some renovating. So I'm going to let her calm down with a nice little bubble bath. Let's have her make some steak tartare now. We'll just do some mac and cheese for now. We're not rich, rich. I do want to save most of the money for renovations, but go have yourself a nice dinner. She's feeling better now. She's still a little bit tense, but she's, she's feeling better now that she's like home and kind of away from Casador and that situation and in kind of like a clear head like she's still feeling good about her successes as mad as she is about that she's able to kind of put it out of her mind for a little bit and she's enjoying just being by herself how are the babies doing pretty happy ready for milking okay okay she's reached cooking level five okay queen we're doing good I'm actually really impressed with her being so high maintenance to have gotten in such an argument and to come home and be able to like let it roll off. I think in that case though, she's used to that happening, you know, like she is used to people disappointing her and letting her down. So that doesn't bother her as much as some of the small things. I think instead of letting that bother her, she manifests it in the small things. And I think that life of luxury made it easy for her to do that. So instead of really getting to the root of the things that upset her and make her sad, she lets things like hang nails and getting splashed with toilet water set her off the most. I have some things I want to do for our girly here. I know I'm kind of packing a lot into this episode. This one may be a bit longer than the rest, um, but I, I, after that going forward, it'll be shorter. It's just kind of like an important turning point episode. Um, I had a lot planned and the money situation really threw me off today. I really didn't think that I was going to get hit with bills again. If we had like a bunch of these little mini goats, then we could make some really good money off of milking them. This is why a ranch hand is important and also is really hard to do with one sim. Right now we're we're an independent queen. I'm trying to build their bond. I can't quite, every time like I get progress, she ends up like dropping progress with him because, or with her, because with Winona, 
The thing with her is every time she builds friendship, she inevitably loses it because of her temper and her tense moods. But she's doing really, really good. She's just a little bit tense from not having fun. But once we do some horseback riding, she should have fun because she does like that. So she still isn't like a fan of nectar making and gardening yet, but she does really enjoy horseback riding. That's the one thing that she kind of instantly took a liking to. She's kind of reflecting on her conversation with Casador and thinking about her mother, you know, it obviously did bring up some memories. And so I think she just wants to go on a little bit of a ride and just kind of take in the scenery and kind of reflect on things with her mom. This is kind of becoming her like de-stress activity and her going out and thinking activity, a nice nighttime ride with Bandit. That was one of the first things she did in the first episode, like her second night here was just go for a ride with Bandit and it really helped clear her head. So she's actually really playful right now from hanging out with her animals. It's really calmed her down, which is amazing. Amazing, and I'm, I love to see that for her, for her to have gotten into such a heated argument over something so deeply personal to then be able to bounce back like this is huge progress considering how she's been up until this point, really. They've been out riding for a while and they ended up stumbling across this really cool area right here. And so our girly is actually very, very excited to kind of see what's back here. You know, it's a beautiful night and she's thinking about her mom and she's thinking about all that her mom wanted for her and how much her mom loved nature and loved horses. And I think Winona is just thinking like, let me, let me go see what's back there. Let me go explore. And it's just making her think of her mom. We're finally going to explore Dreadhorse Caverns and it looks like Cave Progress Zero out of 100, Cave Level 1. Ooh, so there's levels. This is going to be really cool. Yay, I'm excited. Go on, hun. Good luck. Level one, strong-armed bear. As Wynona meanders through the dark and foreboding cavern, a loud roar is heard nearby. Wynona turns and finds a mammoth strong-armed bear standing with its claws in plain view. With a snarl, it extends its paw out, challenging Wynona to an arm wrestling match. Its health is a seven and ours is a 30. So I feel like we should go ahead and do damage to the bear. So we're gonna do offense. Oh no, it does a four damage to Wynona. Oh no. It growls and digs its claws into her hand. The match continues. Let's go defense. We regain 21 health. Okay, amazing barely avoids injury and continues to challenge the bear. We have so much more health than the bear. Let me go defense again and see if we can get more health. Oh no, we're defeated and chased out of the cave. Oh, well that was a bummer. Yeah, we can't explore it because we've had enough of it for today. Did it go great? But honestly, like for Winona to go do that, like I, she's out there battling a bear guys in a cave, considering she was recently living in a mansion in Del Sol Valley. That is some good freaking progress. You trying to take a swim out here? You're way too tired to be swimming, hun. I'd love to let you just enjoy the waterfall, but you are way too tired for this. She's in a happy mood, guys. The great outdoors from outdoorsy lifestyle. She's happy from finally having a good meal. She is a little bit dazed. The great dread horse escaped from exploring dread horse caverns. Winona braved the dread horse caverns and lived to tell the tale. She's happy. She is finally happy, guys. I'm so proud of her. She's happy and she's made money. I think this is an important moment for her. After having that argument and then kind of learning how to control her anger and manifest it into like, let me spend some time with my animals let me go explore the great outdoors and to actually go do something so brave as to explore this like dark cave just to kind of see what she can find. She's finding her sense of adventure again and kind of like back to who she was when she was a young child and wasn't so money driven. Yes, I know we're money driven with this challenge, but that's more about survival. So I think this is a really, really important step for her. And I think now guys, it's finally time. The moment I have been waiting for, well, one of a couple moments. We're gonna go into cast and we're gonna get rid of this high maintenance trait. This is a very historic moment in this series. We're getting rid of her high maintenance trait. That might seem a bit early. Honestly, like we won't progress if we don't, but I do think, you know, from a story perspective, I have now done what I wanted to do to be able to get rid of this trait for her. So we are going to completely remove that. I'm gonna change two trades. I'm gonna pivot this a bit. She's still going to keep her loader trait because that is the hardest thing we need to work on for her, but I'm actually going to swap out two of her traits. She's still ambitious, but I think that her ambition and her drive is actually going to come towards being a rancher. So I'm going to swap out. I'm going to take away ambitious and I'm going to swap that out for rancher if I can just find it. So a rancher, these Sims excel at ranch life and take pride in their work. They enjoy ranch chores and caring for their livestock. I feel like that's the perfect compliment to ambitious. So she's still ambitious, but it, she's ambitious about her ranch. 
ranch life. She's like, okay, I finally, finally think I am getting the hang of this slightly. So that is where her ambition is going to go towards. She still has the nectar aspiration, but the rancher is kind of the ambitious part of her. And so the high maintenance part of her, what she has found is that the best way to calm her high maintenance and to kind of get rid of that lifestyle has been to be outside. Because as much as she misses being able to always have manicures and being able to always be comfortable and in a nice big fluffy bed and have a nice big pool, she remembered that when her mother passed, all of that was meaningless to her. And so all of these things that make her high maintenance really don't matter because when she's out in the great outdoors, that's when she truly finds peace and happiness. And she's kind of understanding more about her mother and her mother's connection to the outdoors because her mother loved outdoors. So she is going to now love the outdoors. So instead of being ambitious and a uh, high maintenance sim, she is now a rancher who loves the outdoors. She's still a perfectionist that I don't think will ever go away. And she's still self assured, but she is a loner. So we are going to have to work on loner a little bit more, but for now, this is where we are with Winona. So let's hop back into the game with her. Of course, there's bats coming out of the cave, but she's very unbothered now. She has a bunch of new moodlets. So she has fresh air from Love's Outdoors. She still has the great outdoors from the outdoorsy lifestyle. Burden of Love from Rancher Trait. The ranch life suits Winona, even the chores. And Pretty Tasty from Tasty Food. Okay, I'm, I'm so happy. This is so exciting. So rancher lesson. She's a rancher at heart. Her idea of a good time includes doing chores around the ranch and interacting with livestock. Rancher Sims excel at ranch life, occasionally making a bonus bottle when crafting nectar or extra hay. She would be more successful at horse breeding. Amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys don't feel like that was too soon, but I just feel like all signs have kind of been pointing there. You know, she's really, the high maintenance trait has definitely been quite a bit to deal with, but she has really kind of turned it around. And I'm really, really impressed that after all of the like antagonistic stuff that happened with her today with the argument with Castor, that she was able to just hang out with her animals, go out for a ride and kind of calm down. And so that is why I felt it was the perfect moment. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I mean, I've enjoyed the struggle. It's funny, but I'm really excited for the next part of her journey. So it's the next day and Wynona's actually woken up in a happy mood. She's about to get attacked by plasma bats though. Obviously, you know, yeah, like it's all great that we changed her traits, but uh, living situation is still clearly not ideal. Now she's energized from dodging dangers from skillfully evading a plasma bat. With fitness skills like this, Sims can easily avoid danger. I probably will still do a few little things here to like, like show that like she's, you know, got a little bit of that high maintenance personality deep down. Um, so don't worry, like she's not gonna completely change as a character, but these are just like positive changes she's making in her own life. Oh, finally aged, oh my gosh, guys. We can make so much off of this one. This one's finally aged too. I wonder if I can put it on the selling table and mark it up 300% because that should be more than what Roberto was going to give to me. Okay, I can put the nectar on the table. I can, oh my God, <gasps> that would be freaking amazing. Let me make sure my prices are marked up. Yeah, 300%. I don't know if anybody will pay it, but we'll see. I just, this is an experiment because I wanna see if it's a better value to go through Roberto or if it's gonna be a better value to go here. Let me have her try giving them sales pitches now that she's like in a better mood. Oh, wait, she's sitting here though, hot daydreaming. My girl is so confused. Wynona's head remembers Castor Moscow fondly as memories of him begin to populate her mind. The task at hand is just an afterthought as qualities of Castor manifest themselves as strong echoes that bring Wynona intense amounts of joy. Their encounter last time was too brief and now Wynona is thirsty for more. When the chance to meet with him arrives, it will not have come soon enough. Sims like these should be cherished. There aren't that many of them out there and it was a stroke of good luck or even a miracle that allowed her to meet one that ticked off so many of her wishes and desires. Wynona, <laughs> attractive memories from thinking about attractive Sims. Her mind is rushed with, certain, with memories of a certain Sim in particular. All the qualities that brought joy to her eyes have made it a hard task to think about anything else. She is probably thinking back on, uh, you know, their argument though. And she's like, no, like put that out of your brain, Wynona. Don't go there. You don't want any involvement with him and that family. Absolutely not. But she can't help it. She is still having hot daydreaming about him because, you know, did she just steal my, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. She just stole, hang on, hang on. Can I like be like, hey, you stole from me? 
can I seriously not like accuse her of stealing? She just stole that horse manure, guys. Did you see that? Because he witnessed her grab it. She just swiped it and ran away. I'm so angry about that. If someone stole the nectar, oh, that would be bad. Okay, maybe the selling table is not a good idea. Let me save right now because if someone steals it, I'm exiting out and we're canceling this yard sale. I will not lose that money. I absolutely will not. We've worked too hard. I would have gone and fought that woman, but I, this bottle is too precious. I can't just leave it here. Don't worry, I'll remember her. Come on, hun. <gasps> 9,240. It worked, it worked. We have $15,000 to renovate. Let me go ahead and do some renovations and then I will see you guys back here. We have 15,000 simoleons. I am so freaking pumped. 2,000 years later. Okay guys, so I have actually been at it for a while focusing on one area of the home. It's not done, it's definitely a work in progress, but I have spent about half of her money. As I was deleting things, I was just making sure to like keep track, so I kind of deleted the area, like all the stuff in the area that I wanted to clean up, and then I deducted it from the funds to make sure that we didn't, I don't want to cheat or anything like that. Again, I didn't get to much because it's a big place, it's gonna be a lot of work, and I want nice things for her, and I've been trying to use stuff with the pack, but I'm actually kind of gonna stop myself now because I don't want to run us completely out of money and I also there's a couple of like CC sets that I saw on Twitter that I've been wanting to download for Winona so I think I'm like at a good point where I kind of have a vision in place but I'll I'll show you guys what I did so the first thing is I did get her a bed so we are gonna allow her to move downstairs to this little area here so she is gonna be going staying in this room I mean it's still a grungy mess but she she got a nice bed. This is the nicest bed that I could get from the horse ranch pack. It's still only an energy level of four, so I'm gonna have to see if like we can upgrade it or something, but I figured it would be nice for her to actually have a bed that she can sleep in. Her bedroom will probably be the next thing I tackle, but I did actually choose to do the kitchen first. So the kitchen is not done. I am still kind of on the fence about some of the wood swatches because nothing in the pack matches. It's driving me a little bit bonkers, like cabinets that go with the um, counters don't match the wood swatches, which I understand understand not all wood swatches match, but usually a kitchen counter and cabinet set would match. I need to just step away and come back and tweak a few things later because I, I get really picky with stuff. Like I literally spent forever just trying to pick out a door to go here and all this is is just the little door that goes down to the nectar area. Anyway, I, I picked out some items from the pack. I've kind of mixed and matched that with a few CC items and just other items here. I know that the dining table kind of ends at like a weird area. My idea is that she restored the hardwood that was on the floor here and this is kind of like the restored version so she's still working on restoring the rest of it so that is kind of where we left off so again I'm probably going to be changing a few things I did have to get her the espresso machine because while she has now lost the high maintenance trait I feel like that's sort of some remnants of her like back having that luxury so there will be some like luxury items that she has here it's a ranch home but obviously it's going to be luxury it's Winona so little things like that here and there but anyway I hope you guys like it I hope you can kind of see the vision that I am going to eventually be going for. And I'm really excited to decorate more. I'll probably do a little bit more off camera at the start of the next episode, like before I start recording. But right now I've been recording for a long time and I just, I kind of hit like a wall creatively with it. So I want to revisit this with fresh eyes. We still have a lot of work to do. So as great as that was money wise, I mean, you can see just that little bit was half of the money we just made. So we still have a lot more work to do. And I really want to work on the exterior as well. So, so far, the only exterior improvement is this one little window. But now that she is feeling a little bit more confident and a little bit more comfortable about money, she has decided it is time to hire a ranch hand. I think I just have to add this live in service to the lot and then we should be good. She's gonna hire a ranch hand to live in her home temporarily to help out with ranch stuff while she's doing renovations. So the idea is not like that it's a permanent live in service, just a temporary and she's like, oh, like I can have a ranch hand just stay in that loft now that I have a bed. So this mod is, it's called Live-In Services by Little Miss Sam. And it has an option now, she's um, adjusted it so that you can add a ranch hand and you should be able to select them. So it scares me the way that I had to do this. So we'll see how this goes. I hope everything works out, but I have my saves backed up. So basically with this mod, in order to hire someone to be a live-in, they have to be homeless and have no career. As far as the technical part, just so you guys know from a perspective, if you want to use this mod, I had to actually move Casador out of his home. 
So I actually put his horse, Silver, I moved Silver into our home. We'll say that like Silver is coming to like stay since he's gonna be the live-in ranch hand. Winona doesn't know that she's hiring Casador. So what I'm gonna say here is that Winona has made out a request. She called a company and said, yes, I love a live-in ranch hand just temporarily. It's just for like a couple of weeks because I need them to help me out while I'm renovating my home. Cause now that she's making money, she has plans for renovations and it's gonna be really hard for her to do all these renovations while all also having, you know, all the animals and the things to take care of. And she wants to get more animals so she can make more money. So she's a very business minded person. So once she starts kind of figuring out what she has to do, she's ready to go. And she knows that she needs an extra pair of hands because she can't do this on her own. She is hiring a ranch hand, having no clue who that person is going to be. Now me, I am the person who is in charge of assigning the ranch hand. I have picked Casador. Thank you for contacting Buckaroo Brigade Ranch Services. Your ranch hand will arrive as soon as possible. Okay, there he is, he's here. My fear is that he would get cold, so I can actually assign a bed to him. So just to make sure he doesn't get cold or anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and assign a bed. Oh, that doesn't actually count as a bed. Okay, let me, let me grab a bed for him real quick. I did go ahead and just move all of her stuff down in here. And actually, you know what? Just to make her happy, I feel like we should go ahead and put up, there's a photo of her and her mother um, that we had up on the wall at her home. Yeah, there it is. So I feel like she would definitely want to keep that up. I'll place that nicely later and she'll keep up this family photo. She's getting more of an appreciation for her father and the lifestyle he led, but she still has some unresolved feelings, obviously, because she didn't know the man and from what what she does know it's not good, but there will be more to come on that. I still do want to focus on gameplay. So, um, you know, I hope that you guys are finding a good balance of gameplay and storyline as well. And I hope that I'm still showing you some good features of the pack. I will say I I'm enjoying the build and buy stuff. I just am still really, really mad about the wood swatches. I'm not going to get over that. So this is where the live-in ranch hand can stay. I know this isn't exactly showing a pack feature because it's showing a mod, but it kind of, it, it, it kind of is similar. So I hope you guys understand that I wanted to do that for story purposes because I, I really wanted it to be Casador. And he is, I'll get into why he's kind of doing this ranch hand stuff because yes, he had like that place to live there, but he is doing like a lot of stuff to make money on the side and he's doing a lot of temporary services. He's a very handy guy and there's a reason behind that, but I'll get into that in the next episode. Okay, so Oidona has now come to the realization that the man she is trying to avoid is the ranch hand that they sent her way. So we will have to find out what her reaction to that is in the next episode. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it's not too lengthy by the time I'm done editing it, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This was kind of a pivotal episode to move forward with the next part of the story. So thank you again for watching. If you did enjoy this, please just do hit that thumbs up button down below and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.